Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. Today I'd like to show you how I deal with the mealybugs that I get on my cacti collection. So this here is my cacti trough which normally sits on a south facing window in my living room. And um, a few years ago I got some cacti and they had some mealybugs on them. And unfortunately that's now introduced it to this cacti trough. So there's a few mealybugs. Um, there haven't been a major pest but I just get one or two cropping up all the time. And I've sprayed them with um, organic soap, and the soap didn't do anything, didn't kill them. And I sprayed them with pesticide, and I gave them a real good soak with pesticide directly on the insects, and that hasn't killed them either. And the reason for that is because mealybugs have a, a waxy coating on the outside of their body, which stops the chemicals getting into them. And they also have a lot of fluff that they produce, and they can live underneath this kind of like silky fluff material. So I'll see if I can find some of this. Um, fluffy material now so you can have a look at it. Um, so I'll just have to go around to the other side of the cactus trough and I can show you the material that I'm talking about. So for some reason they seem to love this cactus here. This is the one that gets it the worst and you can see there's some, the fluff from the normal cactus is actually around the spines but there's also some fluff from the the mealybug as well. It's kind of hard to differentiate on this camera but I can show you a little bit down here <coughs> which I removed from the plant earlier and it just looks a bit like cotton wool. It's just a bit of white fluff. So the way I like, the way I like to deal with these is because the chemicals don't work and it's not that nice using chemicals anyway what I do is I use the cactus spines to get them. Now I use the Opuntia spines here because these are actually barbed and because they're barbed you just need to gently touch the insect with them and it will pick them up quite nicely whereas the other spikes that might stab it, stab the insect but it will just pull straight out and you won't actually be able to pick up the mealy bug. So I'll just set this up on a tripod now and I'll show you how I do that. So here we have my Opuntia. This is one of the longest spines, this is the one that I normally use. So I'll look for a very long spine, the longer the better because it's quite hard to reach some of the nooks and crannies where these insects live. So this one here looks like a nice length, so what I do is I just tap it just gently and see if it sticks to my finger at all, make sure it's well barbed. So those aren't actually sticking too well, so I'll try the other ones. I can feel that one's sticking quite a bit and that one's sticking a lot as well. So this one here is stuck very nicely, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully cut it off at the bottom. Let's be very careful because these spines quite nasty as I said they are barbed so once you're in your finger it's actually quite difficult to pull them out but that's the exact reason why I want these. So I'll just reposition my camera now and I'll show you a nice close up of how I, I get these mealy bugs. So hopefully you can see the mealy bug that came in the camera. The mealy bug I'm trying to get is just on the on the bit that you shall see this point coming to. So here's the Dopuntia spike which I'm using and the mealy bug it's just that little white speck there. So all I'm going to do is because this Opuntia is barbed, I'm just going to gently press into the mealy bug. As you can see there, it's picked it up quite nicely. I should be able to give you guys a nice close up here. I can get this to focus well. And you'll be able to see the detail on the mealy bug quite nicely. You can see it's it's interesting. Um, waxy appearance. So that's the mealy bug there, so the underside as well. There it is. So yeah, that's the mealy bug. So all I do is I stab them with that, and as you can see it picks it up quite nicely, and then you can dispose of them however you want to. So that's the way I get rid of my mealy bugs. Um, it's the best method I've found so far because as I say, they seem to be resistant to most chemicals and soap solutions, but that's what I do and it seems to work quite well. And if you have any other ways of dealing with mini bugs, I'll be happy to know, so leave a comment because I'd quite like to find a, a better way, but that's the way that I'm dealing with them at the moment.